All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan, and thanks so much for coming by. So I'm making this video on my campus here. Um, it is finals week, but you know, so I'm headed to the library, you know, to get my studies in. But I wanted to make this video super quickly to talk about should you drive for Lyft during Christmas? I think it is a great question, and I've been getting it a lot. And you know, I wondered when I first started driving, you know, is it good to drive during Christmas, during the holiday season? Sorry if it gets a little dark here. Um, I'm walking through this beautiful, beautiful forest, beautiful forest here. But yeah, anyways, before we get into this video, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, go ahead and sign up using my link in the description. You're gonna get a sign-on bonus, and you can start making 20 to $30 an hour, even more if you, you know, follow my steps and watch my videos. So let's get right into the video. Should you drive for Lyft during Christmas? So the first thing I wanna say is that yes, I do think it's a great idea to drive for Lyft during Christmas, which we'll talk about in this video, but I do wanna preface this by saying, spend time with your loved ones. You know, this is one of the only times in the year where people get time off from work and you're able to spend time with them. Sorry, I'm out of breath here, jeez. <laughs> okay, the next thing I wanna say is that you're gonna be making a lot more tips during Christmas. You know, people are in a better mood and they're much more likely to tip. And I've been seeing, you know, in my Facebook page, the Rideshare Hub, people have been getting, um, you know, tipped like bottles of wine already and like bottles of tequila. You know, you're gonna be getting tipped more than, you know, alcohol, but <laughs> I know, you know, sometimes like a nice bottle of wine helps too. You know, people are in the Christmas spirit and people are a lot happier and they're gonna tip you better. The third point that I wanted to say is that it's a great way to pay for, you know, Christmas gifts and for your flights or for your traveling. Um, you know, during Christmas people, you know, you wanna spend money on your loved ones, which, you know, can be can be a good thing you know can also be bad but driving for lyft is a great way to pay for that you know you can cash flow you don't have to put it on your credit card you can just pay for it in cash and actually my family this year we're not even doing gifts this year we're just flying out and spending time with each other so driving for lyft is a great way to pay for your flight the next thing i want to say is that you're going to be getting a lot of airport rides airport rides are really good wow this view is beautiful let me just show you guys this view really quick you guys see that? You're gonna be getting a lot of airport rides. Airport rides are good because they're gonna be long. People fly into like Los Angeles, but they, you know, they really are going to Orange County. So, you know, those are gonna be like $100 rides, $50 rides. The next thing I wanna say is to avoid is don't wait at stores. You're gonna get a lot of rides going to grocery stores, buying last minute gifts, and people are gonna say, oh, you know, I'll be right out. They won't be right out. They're gonna be in there for like 20, 30 minutes. Don't wait for them. Just kindly say, oh, you know, I can just drop you off and just get a new one when you're ready. So the next thing I wanted to say is look out for holiday events. A lot of towns have, you know, the cool events, sometimes pub crawls, stuff like that, or like Christmas town parties. I know our town has like this huge Christmas party, um, tree lighting ceremony. So make sure to look out for that. And if there is a, an event, make sure to drive during that time. Sorry, my camera actually died. So now I'm on my iPhone, but I just wanted to finish this off by saying that I do think it's a good idea to drive for a lift during the holidays. But again, make sure to spend some time with loved ones. Make sure to have dinner with them. Take a whole day off and spend time with your family and your friends. Um, it's gonna allow you to drive better and longer on your other days, knowing that you did get a full day in with your family. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Those are my tips and tricks. Um, or advice, if you will, for driving during the holidays. Again, if you're interested in signing up to be a Lyft driver, go ahead and use my link in the description. Sorry, there's a skateboarder around here. Yeah, campus is crazy right now. There's just everyone's studying and like pulling all-nighters and there's two people out on the field right now. It's a beautiful day. Um, if you can see this, usually this is filled, but everyone's in the library right now, which is where I'm headed. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. I did just want to remind you guys at a thousand subscribers, we are doing a dash cam giveaway. So we'll be giving out uh, multiple dash cams uh, for when we hit a thousand subscribers and maybe even a couple of these rideshare hub t-shirts, which um, I don't know. I kind of like them. What do you guys think?